production video about a sample accurate audio driven and polyphonic granular sampler made in Max MSP. What we are looking right now is the heart of the sampler um, and this idea was taken from Nobuyashu Sakhodna from IRKAM. Um, his uh, patch I think is like the mother of all great uh, granular samplers made in Max MSP and the thing is that um, everything is sample accurate, everything is done with audio signals and um, uh, this is basically the part where signal grain is generated and in case uh, you um, are into making uh, granular samplers with max msp um, here i tidied the patch added some comments so if you're new to this uh, area i think this should be a good starting point since um, sakodna's patch is a bit messy and without comments so it's really hard to understand what is going on okay so but um, yeah we take uh, we took this idea of uh, Sakodna's idea way further and made a polyphonic version with uh, lots of uh, various things. Here you can see uh, different uh, filter routings. Uh, we've added some more complex uh, sample reading sections and lots of other stuff. Uh, yeah, so far we've been looking only inside this poly object. Um, but as you can see, um, the whole patch and the whole granular sampler we made is um, quite complex and hence it enables us some very interesting sounds. Okay, this is the interface uh, and this lower part here uh, is actually not a part of the this granular sampler. I added this only for the sake of this. Uh, short video introduction. Um, you should be of course uh, using your uh, hardware uh, MIDI keyboard. And um, okay so it's a granular sampler and that means that we first need to load a sample. Um, here I've loaded uh, already a sample of a female voice and we can play it back. Spirit that thou sendst from thee, is it thy spirit that thou sendst from thee? Is it thy spirit that thou sendst from thee? Tell me, is it thy spirit that thou sendst from me? Is it thy spirit Is it thy spirit that thou sendst from thee? Okay. So, um, here we have various uh, modulation options, uh, various ways how to handle and process the sample. And the uh, first thing that uh, comes to my mind is how to read in, in global, how to read the, uh, the sample. So, if you press note again, is it thy spirit we that see that we still have me? two options one is, is Android, one is Phaser. If uh, we have the Phaser option, it's, that means it's uh, the classical looping uh, way of reading the sample. But if we choose an envelope, in that case, this envelope. Uh, defines the speed of, of reading. So in that case uh, the initial speed is set to 0 0.5 uh, so we will start at 0 0.5 and then we will slowly um, go down to 0. So let's try that. Or if we go back to phaser and we can of course change the speed of the phaser. Now, next.
next thing uh, we can uh, control here the stereo width now you can hear how all of a sudden the stereo picture became very wide um, this is that uh, each grain that is generated uh, can get its own um, panning position and uh, by increasing the stereo width all the way to the maximum the grains can take the position from hard left to hard right in a random manner um, ok next thing that we have here is uh, free phase free phase triggering or uh, we can reset the phase with uh, pressing the key so now at the moment as we have a uh, free phase we can hear that each time sample starts on a different position which can be quite interesting for using uh, some uh, when using polyphony um, or if we don't want to start the sample every time at the same position but we can also reset the reading phase with a key each time for more steady tones is it the high speed so um, if we again decrease the speed something smaller um, <coughs> we can uh, see here also the hop size deviation hop size deviation means the um, interval between grains where grains are taken from sample so if we at the moment we have 2 milliseconds of randomness and if we decrease this to 0 we can hear this combing effect because uh, we somehow enter the world of uh, comb filters uh, or in other words very short delay times uh, because comb filter can be done with uh, with a simple delay line and you can imagine here the grains overlapping and hence some uh, phase cancellations and uh, emphasis appear okay we can also linearly increase the hop uh, hop size deviation it says instead of uh, in a random fashion with a bit because I think it's a bit too wide so again we can decrease the randomness okay here we can also uh, modulate extra the sample uh, reading position so if we the range in milliseconds so we can imagine now if the sample is here uh, if the sample reading position is here it will be now modulated with LFO back and forth and you can hear now at the moment with the frequency 5.5 Hz we are modulating um, the sample position uh, then grain duration we can have here we can define here the shape of the grain even we can make our own grains pulsar or we can even use some recording so okay, we'll be using Gauss, quasi Gauss uh, envelope at the moment. Okay, then here we can randomize the duration. Uh, 
see if we can uh, define the interval uh, at the speed of uh, of randomization. And the minimum size of the grain that can be achieved during this randomized uh, <laughs> Okay, this is the effect section which we won't uh, get into, into now. Um, <coughs> okay, so um, now what we have here as well is a is a filter section. We have a parallel circuit or serious circuit and let's increase the Q to hear the effect better and the other chain we can let's say we'll bend pass it and use the LFO option here so and uh, when we're using LFO we can define here the LFO rate in hertz of course. <laughs>